Alright, so we're on Hirschfelden today, and we're hunting pheasants this time around. So we're just going to run the fields and see if maybe we can find some 28s, or if we're lucky, maybe find a rare pheasant. I'd really like a melanistic rooster. They look pretty damn cool. So let's get on with it and see what's waiting for us out in the corn. Alright, so we got our first rooster in front of us. He looks like he's probably about a 26. Let's see, he's a 22 to 28 estimate. So yeah, he's probably about a 25 or a 26 scoring. Looks like there's another one out there a little further. Oh yeah, there he is. That looks like a bigger one actually. That's a very nice pheasant. 25 to 30. So we're gonna try to get that one. Now I'm currently in a competition where in order for them to count, I have to shoot them at over 30 meters with the 22 pistol. So we're going to give that a try. We're actually going to make the dog lay down just so that she doesn't spook them. Because I want to get the big one hunkered, ideally, so that I can get him to fly where I want him, preferably. I don't think that's him, but that might be. Yeah, no, that's another different pheasant. Alright, so we're getting a bit closer to him. He just went behind that hay bale there. He's not hunkered yet. But as I get closer to him, I'm just going to stand up every now and again just to kind of... I find, I don't, I don't know if this works or not, but I do it just because I feel like it kind of spooks him a little bit just enough that he's not actually spooked and instead he decides to hunker. I don't know. It's been successful regardless, so... If it's not broke, don't fix it. He hasn't hunkered yet. His friend also hasn't hunkered yet. Alright, there goes his friend. And I think he also just hunkered. But I can't tell, so I'm not going to run up to him just yet. Alright, I think we're probably good. Yep, he's not flying off, so he did hunker. Let's just make sure we know where he's hunkered. Alright, he's right there. So I don't really like where he's facing to get this shot with the 22 pistol, but I'm going to try it anyway. And I'll just track him down if I have to. Um... Okay, that was weird. I'm not sure if I hit him or not. Is that him there? What is going on? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, that must have been him. That was flying away, because I'm not seeing anything here. Alright, so I'll track him down, and hopefully he doesn't fly into the woods next time. Alright, so we finally tracked our bird down. And once again, we're in the middle of the forest. But I'm going to try this again anyway. Because I'm feeling confident. That looked like a pretty good shot. I'm surprised it didn't hit. Alright. Well, I screwed up again. But if I cut him off over here. Yep, here he comes by again. I oh, know that's a pheasant or a female. Alright, let's go see if we can cut him off. I think that's probably him right there. That is him. And he's doing that weird thing where he kind of breaks again. Come on. Where'd he go? I can probably just keep chasing him around. I kind of got him stuck on this point. And eventually... I'll get a clear shot at him. 
at the distance that I need them. All right, there he is again. Yeah, I'm not sure why he keeps bugging out, but doesn't seem to be game breaking, so I'm not going to complain. Okay, there he is. I can't believe none of those shots hit him. Alright, so I just spooked him up again. And I've decided that this isn't going to work, so I'm just going to chase him right back out into the fields. Or we can actually get a decent shot at him. Alright, so we've successfully got him back in the fields. He's not really in the field, but he's in the field area, so we're, we're good. He's on the edge of the little woods separating the fields. He should still hunker there. But if he doesn't, I should still be able to get at least a more clear shot than I could in the thick woods. Unless he goes over that hill, that'll be problematic. But he is walking onto the field now, and he's facing us, so if we can get him the hunker, he should fly over the field. Oh, okay, well, didn't hunker. Ooh, we got him. Okay, sweet. Finally, he is down. That hay bale kind of just disappeared into thin air. I'm not sure if I was the only one who saw that. But, uh, sure. Oh, there's an antler there. Maybe that's why the hay bale disappeared? I think that? Okay. It's okay. Whatever. It's just a hay bale. I'll go grab that as well. I'll, I'll go grab the hen first to leave myself in suspense about our big pheasant. We'll call the dog back over as well. Not big for a female standard, but that's fine. I don't really care if I shoot a big female because it's just a female. There's our big pheasant down. Now I'm like 90% sure that shot was over 30 meters, so he should count for this competition. Actually, I'm feeling like it was probably more like 50 or 60 meters. He's got a pretty good tail. <laughs> 80 meters. Wow, Oh, come on, he was, he was way on the low end of that. Only a 27. He had a good looking tail, though. I guess we'll keep looking for a better pheasant. I was really hoping that one was going to break 28. Alright, so we've got two decent pheasants hunkered in front of us. Now they're both facing different directions and they're fairly far away from each other. So I'm not sure I'll be able to get both of them. I think I'm going to shoot this one here first. I believe it's a little bit bigger. And this one will be flying out into the field. Making it a little bit easier to get both of them. Now I've actually lost sight of them. They can be pretty hard to spot when they're hunkered. There he is. And he's down. And there goes our other one. And we got them both. And let's have a look at this one, and then we'll go grab the other one. And there he is. Low weight, so he's probably not going to score very high. Just shy of 24, so not very big. Now let's see where our other one landed. There he is. This one might actually be the bigger one. 
I know one of them looked like it was probably about the 25 to 26 range. Looks like we have another red deer antler. Where did it go? There it is. Just a little guy. The last one was really small as well, I believe. All right. And he's about the same size as the other one. We'll see if we can find, so oh, there's a call. So hopefully this one's a little bigger than the other ones. And we have a pheasant running right towards us. Not really sure what he's trying to do, but uh, he's gonna run right past us. And I guess we're gonna chase him? Okay. And he's down. Let's see what this one's gonna score. I'm thinking he's probably about the 23, 24 range, just like the last ones that we shot. Maybe smaller. Yeah, he's only 22. Looks like we have another rooster out in the corn here. This one looks pretty decent, actually. Same estimate as our last one. But this one looks like it has a longer tail, so it might score a little better than our last one. Let's just see if we can get him to hunker. No hunker yet. He should go down pretty soon. Yep, there he goes. And down he goes. And he is a little bit bigger than the last one. Still no monster by any means. Alright, so we've got two roosters hunkered just over this hill. We're going to see if we can get both of them. That's a pitiful score estimate on that one. Let's take this female as well. Alright. So this one's going to be absolutely tiny. That score estimate was just pathetic. Yeah, and he didn't even break 20. This one over here wasn't very big either. Got a bunch of hens hunkered in this field, but I'm not going to bother with them. This one just also barely broke 20. And the last one we shot obviously was a female, so it's not going to score very high. Alright, so that's the end of our pheasant video. I was really convinced that that first one in the beginning there was going to break 28. It must have had some pretty pathetic spurs because that tail feather was pretty impressive. But we did have some fun. We shot quite a few roosters, none of which were very big unfortunately. No rares or anything, but we still had a good time. That'll be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one.